hello everyone it is lena captain with now she knows and i just want to get into this video of when women get fed up okay when women get fed up when a woman is fed up and why women just start dating up in the first place and why they go on this journey in the first place now let's start with this okay Let's answer that question. Why do women turn to hypergamy in the first place? Okay, there's two reasons I feel. I think there's two reasons. One is that she's born into it already. Like she's taught it by her mother or family members are around her who are doing that. So like it's like it's not even a word for them. It's just something that they just do, you know. And then there's the second reason why women start this in the first place is because um they are somewhat forced to look into a better situation for themselves because of bad experiences bad relationship experiences and now she knows better see what i did there <laughs> so examples of this that you know people that are on the forefront eve the rapper sierra and serena and everyday women who move on to better Okay, and I specifically want to get into the situation of lovely, it's lovely Mimi here on YouTube and on or IG. Um, I want to use her as an example because I don't see a lot of people, you know, looking at her situation and, you know, saying what you should do and what you should not do and why you should avoid certain things because this is what can happen. And, you know, first of all, disclaimer, okay. Um, I am a fan of Lola Mimi. I think she's so awesome, but I just really wanted to talk about the situation, not to bash her because I know that she's probably going through a tough time and this is not a video to kick a dog while they're down, but it's honestly to help other women, um, to avoid the same situation because this happens all the time. Like it's lovely Mimi situation between her and her ex, um, is nothing new and you see it repeated every day and that's why the cycle sometimes still continues you know and yeah even though she's a success you know in her own right and you know clearly she's not doing all that bad but still it's just certain things that are just not worth it and that's why I really wanted to talk about it so this is not to bash her whatsoever at all okay because I love me it's some lovely media okay so um yes yeah, so um, basically, let's just get into it. So Lovely Mimi, um, is the current example of when a woman is fed up because she found herself in a non-hypergamous situation, okay? So let's just give the background for everything that's going on because, you know, it's, you know, that's why I waited a while to talk about it because just everything just kept unfolding <laughs> and it was just like the drama, the mess, the tea, the shade, it was ridiculous and even though like we're not supposed to enjoy that part it was just a lot and I was like oh my god I can't believe this is going on but I just really ugh, I don't like to see when women go through stuff like this like that's not the drama and the tea that I need in my life the drama and tea I need is your heel broke off when you went into the club and then you bumped into another girl and that's why y'all arguing I don't know <laughs> okay let's just move on okay so the background okay for those who may not know of the it's lovely Mimi situation um basically she is like an ig star who has you know blown up and you know she was on love and hip-hop and all this stuff so you can go look you know go subscribe to her youtube channel go look at her instagram if you feel inspired and you know subscribe and follow and do whatever you want to do um but she has publicly announced that her divorce you know i'm um, in parentheses um her divorce after her partner, Remy, first announced that she left him, okay? And there's videos of that. You can go and see it and analyze it for yourself, um, you know, and then come back and listen to this. Um, I don't know if I should link the videos. Like, you sh like if you type it in, if you type in It's Lovely Mimi's Divorce, like, her and Remy's video should come up. So, you know. Okay, so. So, what went wrong? What went wrong? Okay, so before I get into what went wrong, disclaimer, everyone is different and has a right to have the kind of relationship they want. But I see and observe 
uh, too many situations like Lovely Mimi's that when that wind up with both an unhappy woman and unhappy man because if there is no balance and there's a lack of understanding, okay, that when a man is around that women are not meant to carry the financial load, then it's going to go downhill. So just a disclaimer that I know that every woman is not um, about a man fully paying for everything so that she can use her money to build herself up. Um, and I know that every woman is not for that and every man is not for that. So if you are not about that, then don't listen to this video, period. Okay. So, yeah, so that's why I think what went wrong in the first place. Overall, I think that's the whole, that if we can just sum up the whole video, I just think that what went wrong is that women are not meant to carry the family financially. They're just not, not when a man is around. OK, there's a difference because I know that there are some single women and who are mothers. And of course, like you're not going to not take care of your child just because you don't have a man. You're like, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to get to the bag, even if you don't have a child, just because you don't have a man in your life at the moment. Like you like that doesn't make any sense. But when you do have a man in your life, you are not meant to carry that load all by yourself, especially when y'all are serious. OK, especially when y'all are serious about each other. And we all have a family. I don't think the woman should. I think the woman should have an option to whether she wants to work or not. You know, and if she is working, that money should be poured. Her money that she makes either should be poured back into herself or for her kids. Because that's just how I feel. And I don't care what you think about it. That's just how I feel feel about it okay so I think that's where the whole thing went wrong and the balance was off because she was operating in her masculine like to the 10th power like Mimi was out there getting to the bag okay for the whole family getting up there getting up working you know being persistent being headstrong not being in her emotions like literally just doing the damn thing okay basically period and Remy was operating in his feminine because you know from what I heard from what I heard her say out of her mouth, in his mouth, well, I don't know if I heard it out of his mouth, but I, what I heard out of her mouth is that, you know, he was allowed to stay home while she provided for the family, like, even after she had her baby and stuff like that. It's just, girl, and let me just say allegedly because I, I may be saying it wrong, but I know I heard in there somewhere that he was a stay-at-home dad and he was operating in his feminine to the max, allowing his woman to take care of him while the woman went out there and provided for everybody and all the load was on her. And I just think that's where the whole relationship went wrong from the, from the beginning period, okay? And before I get into it even more, um, you know, I hear a lot of people say that money doesn't matter, it shouldn't matter, it shouldn't matter, but it does, okay, because of that same specific reason that, one, women are not meant to carry that financial burden, you know, as far as taking care of the family, because women are not built to handle that for a long time when they have a man in their life. Women are not built to take care of a grown man and feel good about it unless she is really operating in her masculine and that's what the crap she wants to do. And I'm not putting her down because that's her prerogative, but at the same time, if, if a specific woman wants to do that, I'm not putting her down, but it always ends up just bad. Because even if the woman does want that, and even if she doesn't mind, that man is not going to be fully happy in that. He's going to creep. He's going to, because men don't feel like men unless they're providing for their families that they have in their lives. That's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? But I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me, but who cares? <laughs> Moving on. So let's continue with where it went wrong. Okay, so Remy, okay, her ex is what the thing that threw me off is the number one red flag the number one like just was there as soon as she met him you know from what I hear from their story is his strange interest in Mimi's standards okay because there was a video of them because you know since I am a fan of it's lovely Mimi I love watching her videos because it's just oh my god like it's just so happy and all the time even when you know, Remy was in the videos and I really wasn't feeling him. Like, I never liked him. I'm just be honest with you. I never, I never liked him. Boom. There you go. Because I just felt like she was just doing everything by herself. But the thing that really um, threw me off 
was in one of their videos that they did and I'll probably put like a screenshot of it and I forgot what it's called um something it was some video where there was Remy and and loving Mimi answer questions from IG or something like that maybe you could go look it up but I'll post a screenshot so food so if you see the video you can go see for yourself but he was basically saying that um he was uh, more interested he was interested in Mimi versus the other women because the other women you know they wanted they had standards they wanted him to pay for everything when they went out they wanted a man with money they wanted a man with the nice car they wanted a man that you know just basically these the standards that they had for themselves you know and that's a woman's prerogative okay so but then when Mimi came along, the reason why he got with Mimi, and even though he said he had money at the time, the reason why he got with her is because, okay, this is a girl that has her own. This is a girl that's not really asking me for much. Um, and that's why I wanted to be with her because she didn't want much. She didn't want what those other girls wanted. Um, she actually was putting gas in my car, you know, because that was said in the video, you know, and I just saw that as off because anytime a man is saying that he, I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't care what it is. Cause every time I hear a man says, Oh, I'm with my wife because or I'm with my girlfriend because, um, because, Oh, you know, she's a good hustler and she doesn't want me for my money. And every time I hear that, I really see that as a red flag because what he's saying is the only reason why he is with you, okay, is because he doesn't have to do much, basically. Ooh, and that just really rubbed me the wrong way. It just, oh, Lord Jesus, you just don't know how bad that rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I literally wanted to, I'm not trying to get ratchet. <laughs> Because on this channel, we're going to be honest about our emotions and our feelings. And we're going to process it as we move forward in this journey. But I really wanted to punch him when he said that. I, I swear to you. Because I'm like, oh my God. Like, he's blatantly saying that he's with you because he knows that he can get away with not having to pay for sh shiznits. Okay? For sugar honey iced tea. He doesn't have to pay for anything with you. Like, he doesn't... He wants to be able to get the booty... And not have to put as much work into it, you know? Um, and plus, he can keep all the money that he has. But see, here's where the part where it gets messed up. When you allow a man to get lazy, he's gonna get lazy because I, you know, it's this is a this is not a channel to bash men. But from what I've learned, the nature of men is that they don't appreciate certain things as much as women may appreciate them. Like, they don't really appreciate when a woman fully takes care of them because they're going to take advantage of that. And then and if they think they can get away with something, they're going to keep taking and taking and taking from you. And then they're not going to be motivated to do better. And that's why it's so detrimental to get into that space where a man is okay where you show a man that you're okay with not having much and I think that's one of the one of the other problems that was in the relationship and why it fell and why women must keep their standards doesn't matter what it is like not every woman has to want a yacht or not every woman has to even aim or want a so-called millionaire you know what I'm saying which is not bad or anything but I'm just saying like you know but when she doesn't you know, know herself and learn herself and learn her value. I mean, really learn her value and be like, you know, what? I am worth all of that and more. And when she doesn't put that out into the universe by, you know, who she chooses to be with, then, you know, that's how you get taken advantage of as a woman and you attract those men who, um, who are aiming for a woman who doesn't really care what she gets out of a relationship, who doesn't really care, who says she doesn't really care about money or doesn't have standards when it comes to that part of relationship, okay? So, yes, this is going to be a long one, honey, okay? Because I have to get into it. Now the, now, the second thing, okay, third thing or second thing, I don't know, but we're going to say second. <laughs> okay, so... Even after Lovely Mimi is doing all this stuff, first of all, 
she's looking beautiful, gorgeous all the time, okay? The lady got her body together, okay? She went and she risked her life, you know, which I'm pretty sure she did it for herself to look even more beautiful, you know, to enhance her beauty even more. She looks good. She's paying for everything. You know, I'm pretty, she's supporting her husband in his dreams and it's not appreciated. You know why? You know why it wasn't appreciated? And why he still cheated, you know what I'm saying? Um, because he was not able to operate in his masculine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, like if a guy gets used to a certain thing with a certain girl, he's gonna look at he's gonna label her automatically. Okay, this is the girl that I can use. And so that led to him cheating. And allegedly, and allegedly giving that money to the woman he was cheating with. And it's so messy because the woman, uh, the just Britney girl, I'm just going to say her name. Allegedly, it was just Britney who was messing with Remy uh, while uh, Mimi was, you know, paying for everything and possibly the money that she was giving to Remy, he was giving to her and possibly allegedly other girls because you never know, honey. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, so it, that's, that's another example. That's just another example of the situation of why you don't, uh, you don't do things, you don't date in a non hypergamous way if you have a certain goal or vision for your life, because one, it's not going to be appreciated by the man. And two, if he doesn't feel like a man with you, which is you know, being able to provide financially and take care of you and do the things that he's supposed to do, he's going to do that with someone else. And most likely you are going to get cheated on and you're going to be like, well, why is he cheating on me? I'm giving him everything. Well, because, hello, you're operating in the masculine energy. He's op he's operating in the feminine energy. Women receive, men give. Mimi was giving, Remy was taking and giving it to another woman okay and that's messed up okay that just makes me really want to punch him even more I swear to us it makes me kind of feel some type of way about this but it has to be talked about it has to be talked about because women have to know they just have to know what to leave alone and why things happen so we also see this example with Wendy Williams and Mary J Blige and all these other women where these women are beautiful, successful. You know that they're good women to their men. They don't cheat. You know they don't cheat. You know good and well these women are not cheating. They're looking their best. They're thriving in their careers. They're saying, I'm taking care of the, all the family. I just want you to do one thing for me. Okay, this is what these women are saying. I just want you to uh, love me, you know, and whatever. But the thing is that men don't love in that way. And I feel like women really have to understand that men don't work like that. Like you can give them everything, but they're going to do what they want to do. They only fall in love to those who they give to. And it may seem like a double standard. It may seem crazy, but that is so true. Like a man is not going to fall in love with the woman that's given him everything. He's going to look at you as if you're his mom, basically. And yeah, I've learned this from channels like Shira 7, but I actually had to go out there and really learn that, oh my God, this whole time I'm thinking that, you know, if I give my best self to this man, if I be as beautiful as I can, if I'm successful in my career and I'm paying for stuff and da 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 da, that he's going to appreciate that and he's going to love me, but he's not because he's not going to see you. He's going to see the stuff that you're doing for him because you're not allowing him to give you anything and that's why men fall out of like they don't even fall out of love like that's why they don't love you in the first place because you're doing too much and side note I know this is going off a side note and I may talk about this in a separate video I don't know but Wendy Williams she seems kind of tight around <laughs> you know I'm bringing up the ratchet side she seems kind of tight around women when women come on her show and they're talking about oh I'm a sugar baby or I'm dating a guy and he's buying me everything he's doing all this stuff she seems triggered because she was doing exactly what Lily Mimi was doing looking beautiful have the successful career take using it to bring her man up hire him and you know put him on and he used everything you gave to him to give to another woman and fall in love with her because she's allowing him to be a man she's allowing him to uh, go out there, get the money, figure it out on his own as a man should amongst other men. You know what I mean? And, um, and he fell in love with her and not, not in love with Wendy 
because, and uh, she's allowing him to give to her. Okay, so that was just a side note with the whole Wendy Williams situation and why it's kind of like similar to um, Lovely Mimi situation and all the other ones that we see. Okay, so a third thing um, is, okay, so... I feel that Remy is doing exactly what he should do as a young man. Because, okay, get this. He's, like, still young in my eyes. And he's doing exactly what he should do. And I'm not saying that it makes it right. He's definitely dead wrong. He's dead wrong. But as a young man, young men make mistakes, you know. And the problem is when women um, have a family or get serious with someone who hasn't financially and mentally matured yet and see that's the that's a problem with Remy you know what I'm saying and I know a lot of people don't I know a lot of women they're like I don't want to date no old guy you know because old men older men tend to you know already be mentally mature emotionally mature financially mature they they've already blew a bag and made that mistake but they got it back again and so that's why they're more equipped and I know a lot of women don't want to date old old men and I get that um but it's like I feel like we should at least you know put it out there in our minds and in the universe that we want a man who is mature and who can handle a family and has matured instead of trying to make him you know trying to control him trying to make him into something that he is not yet and I feel like that's another mistake that with Lovely Me Me situation and so many other situations is that, oh, we'll work with what we got. And it's just like, no, sometimes I feel like in the situation when it comes to being with a man and taking him seriously and having a family with him is that he needs to already be where he's supposed to be, where he can handle a family and he can handle you as a wife because men are different. Men have to learn. Men have to grow. Men have to... Uh, go through these stages in their life, you know, and mature because it's going to be a whole headache when you're dealing with the, when you're dealing with a immature man who hasn't fully matured yet. Like women mature faster than men. And that's why we're able to adapt to these situations, uh, you know, like marriage and family more quicker and more efficiently because we're mentally mature. We're mentally there, even financially there at young, young ages, because that's just how women are, you know? So it's like, we need to, you know, people talking about be with their equal so bad. Well, we need to be with someone who's either that or more. And that means being with a mature man who's mature financially and mentally. I know it seems like I kept saying that over and over again, but I feel it in my spirit to say it. So, um, and another thing is, of course, Remy got with It's Lovely Mimi is because men are logical, okay? I don't think, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is no offense to any, to Lovely Mimi, because I love Lovely Mimi, and I know she's watching this video, but I don't think he really loved her at all, you know? Of course, Lovely Mimi is very attractive. She's She seems like such a beautiful person to be around, but I don't think he ever really loved, like, like was in love. Um, because men are logical, okay? And since he didn't have, you know, um, since he didn't have certain things, I guess, you know, I guess he didn't have his own place and I guess he didn't have a certain amount of money and it made sense to be with her at that time and it was convenient, you know? Some men are with women out of convenience, not out of love and it's, or not out of, I adore you and I want to do for you and I want to be with you. It's just more out of convenience and that's what I see with the Remy, Remy and it's loving Mimi situation and it's so messed up because it just makes me want to cry because I'm like, oh my God, like, it's horrible, okay? But overall, even if a man is with, with you for convenience, it still won't work because he he won't feel like a man. You know, especially in a situation where it's either sometimes 50-50, even when it's 50-50, or when she's paying for majority of the bills or she's the breadwinner, okay, um, it's still not going to work even if it is a convenience for him because he he wants to he wants to do what is best for him at 
every specific moment in his life. And that was the best decision. And so once he gets a little bit more money, when he gets a little bit more put on, or when he gets a little bit more knowledge and knows what is best for him, you know, he's still going to look outside of that relationship for the respect that he would want to receive from a woman in a case where he's, you know, the the full provider, financial provider, breadwinner for the family, you know. And in a lot of those situations when a man is with you for the convenience because you can help him out financially or he's able to save or whatever, um, sometimes, um, you know, she won't, res- a lot of times a woman won't respect him, you know. So, hence, you know, because she's a bread provider, bread provider and... You know, she, so therefore she does whatever she wants. Like with lovely Mimi, a lot of people say like, oh, like the reason why she's not, he doesn't even, you know, he doesn't feel happy with her is because she's dressed in any kind of way that she wants and she's acting wild. But when you're the breadwinner and that's the way that you get your money, it's like, okay, like he can't really feel no type of way about that because it's not like he's doing anything to uh, step up and be like, hey, babe, I want you to put more clothes on. It's okay. I'm going to take care of the family. You know, he has no right. He has no right to say that because that's how she gets her money. That's how she markets. And so he has no right. So, girl. Okay. And last but not least. Okay, this is a long video. I told you this is going to be long. But it's like at least get with someone on your level. Okay. And I feel like with lovely Mimi, Remy was not on her level. Okay, and it don't and don't be afraid to say what you really want as a woman. I get some women they're like, I don't want for much, and that's okay. Like if that's what you want, but you have to realize that sometimes what you want is not good for you, and you need to at least be with someone who is on your who's on your level or higher. You know, a man who can cultivate you, a man who can lift you up even more than you lift up yourself, and it's not about um, not being okay and complete as the person that you are. No, but you need to get with someone as a woman. You're worth it to get with someone who will make you better or do better for you. You know what I mean? If you get what I'm saying. Um, and the, the thing about when you are with a man who's with you because it's convenient for him and you're paying for most of everything, the bad thing that could happen is that he can come for you for child support. You know what I mean? You know, he could set you back financially. Um, and instead of pouring money into a grown man, you could be putting that money into your kids. You know what I mean? It's just that's what makes me so upset because there's children involved. And that money could be poured into her kids instead of a grown man who's fully able to provide for himself and his family. He's able. He's capable. He's taller than her. Like, God. Chow? Okay. <laughs> like, you know. Anyways, I wish lovely Mimi the best of luck. I know that she's, oh, chow. Now that she knows better and she's in her purpose, she's living in her purpose, she is doing her thing. You know, she has the funds to look her best and feel her best and travel. And she is such at a place where she is around and can attract men who are doing even better than her and will love her and adore her and do right by her and them kids. You know, I know that Mimi will find better and and I wish her the best of luck and I wish her kids the best of luck. And I just wish that women would learn from this and just do better all together. OK, but I do wish her the best of luck. And y'all leave your comments, leave your feedbacks. I know this video was long, but tell me what you think. Okay, and y'all have- Hey, before you leave, make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. Or depending on where you're listening to this, make sure you follow this channel. And also, don't forget to share this with your peoples. Be sure you click on that notification bell so you can get an update on the next video because it's going to be-